today, how you feel like you did. They even put you a linebacker at one point, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I felt uh, comfortable with all the drills. Um, new, new teams wanted me to see me play a linebacker, and I was just very comfortable with the D-line drills. I did it at the combine. I felt like I was very comfortable with it. Uh, really haven't had practice with it like that uh, before the combine. I just actually went out there in the combine and did it, and then been practicing for there. So I feel like it was, it was great. I uh, felt successful doing it. How'd your, uh, how'd your meetings uh, after the thing go? You seemed to be a pretty popular guy. In there. Oh yeah, meetings went great. Uh, meeting went great. Met with uh, 22 total teams. Um, I, I met great with all teams. Anything they wanted me to do, I was did it right for them. Um, stuff like that. So it was just great. Good 60 time. You had to be pleased with that. I mean, you ran better than most of the other guys out there. Oh, oh yes, sir. I was, I was pleased with it. Uh, I didn't really practice for it when I was training the whole time. So I just do that out of natural because, I mean, we used to do it here at Clemson. And they, and team, I feel like I wanted to do it so I could show teams what, what how I, I can hold up. So I feel like I was impressed with my time. I didn't know what the time was going to be like at first because I haven't really practiced, but I was very impressed after I heard the time. Is that the main thing you were coming out here to show today is, is to run that drill and maybe a couple others? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, show how athletic I am, man, and how I can play in space. And, and, and I can do the linebacker's drills and, and stuff like that. Stand up guy, hand, four, three, four, four, three guy or three, four guy. I can play any up. You think you at a 4-3 end, though, is your, your best position? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Um, I've been doing this since I, since I started playing football and put my hand in the dirt. So that's what I've been used to. Um, any system picking me up, I'd be pleased. I'd do linebacker or uh, do defense end. I'd just be happy. Did a certain couple of teams ask you to do linebacker drills today, or was that just kind of accepted that you were going to do? Oh, yeah, it was kind of separate because after I did it at the combine, I feel like I would do it again. Um, teams uh, at the combine wanted me to do it, like Tennessee and Jets and, and those guys. So um, teams wanted me to do it, and I did it, and I felt comfortable with it when I was doing it. Shaq, did you get any questions from teams about the uh, Orange Bowl injury? You know? Orange Bowl injury? Yeah. Uh, nah, I just, they just asked me what, what happened in that situation. I told them um, I sprained my MCL, uh, and then I came back and played the next week. So yeah. um, they was very impressed with it, coming up with a, gra a grade two uh, sprained MCL playing. And you and they feel like everything is perfectly fine with that? No, oh, yes sir, yes sir. Cause, yes sir, they, they see, uh, they see, they see how I had hard out there to go out there to play my last game as a Clemson Tiger with a bum knee, fifty percent, and they see came out there. Uh, gave Max effort, uh, gave him my all, and did the best I can do for my team. So I, I, I feel like that showed a great sign for teams was looking for teams, players that just not gonna quit on you, and players just gonna work hard even though when they hurt when, when they injured. What's next for you? Uh, next for me, I'm, I'm about to be busy. Uh, about to go to Atlanta tomorrow, uh, Vegas, Vegas for sports science. I mean not Vegas, but LA for sports science, and just gonna be working out with teams. It's like there's a lot of. Big names towards the top of the draft as far as D linemen go. How do you think your game stands out from theirs? Oh, my game stand out because I mean, I play against the best tackles uh, in college football, uh, Roddy Stanley and Cam Robinson. We get them both and play great games. In it. And my film to speak, I'm a run. I'm a, I'm a run. Uh, uh, I can play the run good and I can play the pass good. So I'm just a complete player. Uh, and then just gonna be bringing everything to the team I could possibly bring. I think the run that you guys made this past year because you got to play the extra games in the college football playoff national title game, a little more spotlight for you guys. I think that gives you a leg up? Oh, oh yes, sir. Oh, it gave us a little spotlight playing against Bama. Knew that was a great team and knew I was going against a great tackle like Cam Robinson. So that re really helped me out a lot. Um, uh, we just been doing that all year, man. Died both. We just fed off each other. Uh, yeah, a lot of people preparing us in this draft. Uh, I don't see us comparing each other. Uh, we, we brothers. Uh, we helped each other out. We helped each other out to be successful in this run. Draft's still a month and a half away or so. You ready for it to get here already? You already getting antsy? Oh, yes, sir. I, I, I'm really ready. I just want to find out where my new home at and we'll, we'll lead the team to the Super Bowl and be a rookie of the year. So I'm just trying to just find out where my new home is and can't wait to be there. Here's guarantees? Oh, yeah. I, I'm, 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 yeah I'm, that's, my, that's my goal. That's my goal coming in as a rookie. Or is there team not a team I got visit schedule up? Um, I pretty much met with all the teams uh, at the uh, combine. I mean, with a, I met with a couple teams yesterday: uh, Jets, Saints, um, and Tennessee. And I meet with Cleveland coming up next. Um, so I've been meeting with a lot of teams. 
Um, just, I mean, I've been enjoying it. Uh, no different coaches' personality. Coaches be, coaches be in there uh, asking you questions. At one question, they asked me who the fourth president was. I couldn't even name it. <laughs> For real. The fourth president? Yeah, the fourth president. I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> He threw me off on a question like that. How about how much Kevin? Kevin Dodd, a lot of a guy that really was came out of nowhere to be where he is now. What's impressed you about him? Oh, what impressed me about Kevin Dodd? He stayed with it, man. He he was hungry this year. Um, people didn't see what he did on the offseason grind. He was just grind. He grind a lot. Me and him both was grinding each other, getting better, trying to get these young guys right. In. And I feel like that, that grind paid off for us. Uh, we had a successful season. Um, Crazy, me and him finished number one and two in nations for tackle for loss. Uh, never did in the Clemson history. Uh, that's just that's just great. Uh, knowing that you got a partner beside you is gonna help you a long way and open up your game, make it easy for you. Then I can open his game, make it easy for him. We just feed off each other. Just make it tough to you. Uh, where these various different projections have you. Some have you ten, some have you twelve. Some have you, I mean, obviously, you, it's hard not to notice it. But, but is it something that you look at from time to time? Oh no, sir. I don't pay attention. I just get people that, that tweet at me, they tweet, tweet and say that. But I don't really pay attention to that. Um, it's, it's a mock draft. It's, things can change from here in next month. So I don't really pay attention to it at all. How much are you enjoying this process? I mean, how much hard work you put in here so that you can be in the position you're in now where someone gets saying something great about you? Oh, I'm enjoying the process. I'm enjoying every a minute of it. I'm just blessed to be able to do this from a small town coming from Central. I'm um, just, I'm just enjoying it every day. Every day I wake up, just thank God and, and know uh, I'm just, it's just a blessing. I'm just things I overcome as a young guy, uh, losing my uh, father in 2011 and going to hard grade. So I overcome a lot, and and God did it for a reason, and it's paying off price right now. You talked to Jake about the process a little bit. I mean, he was kind of in a little bit of some spots in last year. Uh, first round break. I mean, do you talk to him a little bit about just the waiting game, how hard it is to, to wait? Oh, yeah, I talked to him a lot. He just said to stay focused and continue to work. Uh, wherever you're in, just continue to work. Yeah, that's what I've been taking in my head. Uh, work every day. Work every day. I, I, it's, it's, I'm in a profession now. I, I'm, I'm, I got to work like a professional. Do everything like a professional. And carry myself like a professional. So I'm just going to continue to work every day, working on my game, continue to get better. Is it tough at all with you and Kevin? You could, you could affect where each other goes in the draft, how much money you make. Has that been a tough dynamic at all? Uh, no, nah, it hasn't been tough. Uh, I know both of us, we're we going to come off the board. We don't know. Uh, some Probably somewhere in the first round, but we know we both come out of the board. And I'm, just, I'm just proud to say we both come out the board uh, from Clemson. Um, both projected to be a first runner. Uh, so it would be it would be great if we both end up in the first round somewhere. Either way, I don't care if he go first or I go first. I'm just going to be happy because we both was in the first round. And, and we did something a lot of people didn't do. I started one year and, and make it happen. You going to New York? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Just thinking about uh, like, taking your mom up there and just sitting in that draft room and seeing other people sitting in that room. Oh, it's great. Uh, when I got the, uh, it's great, man. When I, I got the call the other day, it was just, it was just something I've been dreaming about. It's special. Take my parent, my mom up there, my little brothers and sisters, let them experience something. And just, just can't wait, can't wait till them, that day come. It's, it's, it's going to be a special moment. You hear your name call. And, so it's going to be great. How important has the success of guys like Vic and, and other guys at other positions how, how important has that and impactful has that been on guys like you coming out? Oh, we just fed off of it. We know those guys had a great leadership role. Um, him and Grady, Vic, and all those guys. I knew uh, it was man time for Kevin, uh, BJ, and DJ Reader to step up in that leadership role. And that's what we did. What about in terms of your, you know, the, the scouts now? The, have, Clemson has a history. Not just putting guys in the league, but guys going in and doing big things. Oh, we just, uh, it's just the culture we come from. Um, we produce uh, great players. Started off a long time before our time. And those the great defense linemen we had, Gaines, Adams, Daquan, all of those guys, uh, Vic, all those guys in the league, we just following their footsteps and, and try, try, trying to leave our own legacy when we get there next. Speaking of following their footsteps, how much have you talked to the other Daniel guys who made it to the NFL and gone through this process, Jarvis and Deshaun and Duke? I talked to him a lot uh, about it. Uh, I talked to Deshaun about it last night. It's like, man, it's just a blessing to see where we're coming from. A uh, small town out of Central. Uh, not many people make it where we're from. Uh, 
and just have people coming from Central and, and be in the NFL, that's just great. Uh, we know we we doing something right. Uh, kids look up to us and through the uh, community. So we know we leading by example to the young kids. To have that succession of guys coming from Daniel High School, you know, I know Coach Rob is proud of y'all. How, you know, what does that say about the, the program that you got? Oh, the program is great we got at Daniel. Uh, I feel like we follow the same thing we do at Clemson. And it's just it's just great uh, great football team and great coaching stuff at Daniel. It was just it was just they had, they put me in the right position to be successful. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think this all when it came true. Uh, get me right, uh, get give me opportunity to go play at the next level, and uh, had me ready for prep school when I needed it and stuff like that. So it was just it's just a great experience from uh, coming from the high school. Except for the year at Hargrave, is it going to be weird knowing that you know you spent all your life in this town, now you're going to be moving on and going somewhere else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be weird, but I'm kind of ready to move off, uh, move on. Uh, just, I'm always going to come back and visit because it's my home, but I'm just ready to move. It's something I've just been experiencing my whole life, and it's time for a new, new, new city. I'm going to be in the city, not the country. I'm going to be in the city. How many, uh, how much contact did you have with the Falcons? You were, a lot of people kept picking you for them, but now you look like you're going way before that. Um, I had you know, I, there too. Yeah, I talked to Coach Cost a lot. Uh, uh -huh. We talked a lot uh, at the combine. I've been talking to him. Uh, plan on doing a workout, but I don't know exactly the day. Um, it, it was just great uh, meeting those guys. You know, potentially uh, have a chance to play with Vic again. So that and Vic and Grady. So that would be, be a good, great thing. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Uh -huh. Shaq.